Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at menstruation and we're going to look at con uh, contraception. Um, so menstruation, basically every month, the lining of the uterus prepares itself for a fertilized egg. Okay, so the endometrium um, forms. If an egg is not fertilized, then that um, endometrium is shed through the vagina. And this monthly discharge or shedding is uh, what's called menstruation or your period. Um, and a menstrual cycle uh, is the time from the first day of one period to the first day of the next. And it's usually about 28 days. So all of the eggs that um, a female will produce through her lifetime are actually present um, at birth, but they're not released until after puberty. Um, each month, one of the eggs gets released from the ovary into the fallopian tube, and this is what's called ovulation. Um, ovulation normally occurs about halfway through uh, your cycle at around day 14, and this is when you're most fertile. So hormones um, play a critical role in the menstrual cycle, and there's two that um, are really important. That's estrogen and progesterone. And basically what these are, are they're chemical messengers that travel through the blood in the body to send messages to different organs. So the first one, estrogen, um, at the end of your period, the estrogen levels will start to increase. And this um, basically starts to get that endometrium or that uterine lining um, ready for a possible pregnancy. Okay, um, High estrogen also contributes to ovulation. Um, so if no fertilized egg or no egg gets fertilized, then the uh, estrogen levels will decrease. If the egg gets fertilized, then those estrogen levels will stay up um, and prevent further ovulation um, during the pregnancy. So once ovulations occur, then we get our second hormone, progesterone, um, increase in its levels. Um, and this is to support any possible pregnancy that may occur. Um, and during this, what happens is that endometrium continues to thicken. Now, if a pregnancy doesn't result, so if the egg's not fertilized, then the progesterone levels will decrease and the menstruation will start. Um, estrogen and progesterone are at their lowest at the start of a menstru uh, menstruation. Okay, so this graph's just showing how um, progesterone levels um, increase. So this darker blue line is progesterone, that increases um, as ovulation occurs, okay? And then around here, we can start to see it decrease. So what we're going to do, um, Assume is that the decrease means that there hasn't been fertilization, so the levels will come back down, and then we'll start off our next cycle here via the breaking down of that um, endometrium. So, what does the actual egg um, do? So, the egg will basically ripen within the ovary, okay, or um, the ovum. So it will ripen within the ovary. And then ovulation will occur. So a ripe egg will burst um, from the ovary and goes into the fallopian tube. Okay. Now, in the case of um, sexual reproduction, what will happen is sperm will ejaculate from the male, from the penis, um, and be released. And about 10 hours later, okay, um, there'll be about half a million sperm through into the uterus. Um, about half the remaining sperm that come into here will take a wrong turn. So some will go um, in the opposite or to the opposite fallopian tube to where the egg's been released. And about 24 hour la hours later, about 6,000 sperm will reach the fallopian tubes. And then only a few hundred sperm are left after about 30 hours. And then Fertilization will occur in that fallopian tube, um, but that only requires one sperm and the egg. Okay, so after the ovum's released, we'll get fertilization within the fallopian tube. Um, this produces um, the zygote, and it's basically a five day journey down to the um, uterus. Um, 
So on its way, what's going to happen is it's going to go through several cell divisions to form new cells, uh, become larger and more viable. So um, as it continues down, the zygote basically splits to become four, and then those four will split to become eight, and then um, 16, etc. By the time it reaches um, around the end of the fallopian tube, you'll have what's called a morella, um, which is a clump of up to 80 cells. Um, and this is um, where well, the stage just before um, it becomes a blast, uh, blastocyst. Okay? The blastocyst will then um, enter the uterus and we should hopefully get implantation into that endometrium and if we get implantation then it will hopefully develop further um, into an organism okay so there's a number of forms of what's called contraception which is um, how we aim to stop um, reproduction occurring so conception involves the creation of a zygote and its implantation into the uterine wall and contraception basically stops that from occurring and there's two broad types of contraception so those that um, prevent fertilization from occurring and those that stop the fertilized egg from implanting into um, the wall there's a wide number of contraceptives available and they all vary in their effectiveness so there's some that are extremely unreliable. Um, so withdrawal, so removal of the penis before ejaculation occurs. Vaginal douching, which basically wa um, washes and kills sperm cells out of the vagina. There's some that are extremely effective. So abstinence, which is basically saying no. Tubal ligation, which cuts the fallopian tube. Um, and a vasectomy, which cuts the vens deferens in a male. So the tube from the testes in the male. There are some others, um, so what we'll do is we'll continue around um, through to our least effective. Um, contraceptive pill, morning after pill, and um, an IUD. So these um, contraceptive pills are basically hormone pills, um, which are very effective in um, preventing fertilization. And IUD is a device which goes up into the uterus to stop implantation occurring. Um, highly to moderately effective um, are condoms and diaphragms, which aim to stop sperm from entering into the uterus. Um, moderately effective are spermicides, which are basically um, gels to kill off sperm. Um, and rhythm method, which is basically tracking the cycle um, so that um, you don't have intercourse um, when you're fertile. So going back to the types um, of contraception, those that prevent fertilization, condoms, um, so they stop sperm entering um, the uterus, vasectomy, so they stop sperm actually um, exiting the male. The contraceptive pill, which is a hormonal control, um, tubal ligation, which stops the um, ovum from reaching the uterus or the sperm continuing up the fallopian tube. And then if we're looking at what ones prevent implantation, you've got the IUD, which is the device which sits in the uterus. Um, that can also cease ov uh, ovulation in some women. Um, and the morning after pill is designed to um, prevent implantation as well. Okay, so again, just another diagram representing um, the ways that they block fertilization. So blocking implantation, you've got your morning after pill and your IUD. Stopping the ovum, you've got your contraceptive pill or tubal ligation. Stopping the sperm, you've got your abstinence, your condom, your vasectomy, um, etc.